Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is my Yarn Quest um, reply to my short What in Search of High Street Yarn. So um, I was unable to go too far afield today, and so um, I went into the local pound stretcher. If you watched my short, you'll see me walking along the high street to find it. Um, now it's quite a big uh, pound stretcher, and there used to be one here and one just on the mainland. And the one on the mainland was better for yarn. Had um, a lot more um, variety and they always seemed to have more colours um, of everything and a larger little section. And they closed that one down, sadly. And the one that's on the island here was always uh, the one with the least amount of yarn. And But recently they'd had more so I figured okay I would do pound stretcher today and we'll go and have a look and um, I was really gobsmacked to be honest with you they used to have um, say three kind of aisles like three sections of the aisle not three separate aisles um, then it went down to two and then it went to two ends and now it's one and that is all they had so I didn't manage to get masses but they did have a couple in the dump bin of these and you may have seen this a little while ago I did buy these these were £2.99 so really excellent value and they were <clears throat> two tongue two tone chunky so it is quite um a fat yarn it's a crinkly yarn as well so to me it's it's more like I say well, no, actually, when, when you kind of smooth it out, it is quite a... It's the larger side of a chunky, really. But it's a nice yarn, and I wanted to get a fair bit to see if I could make myself something, you know, substantial, like a wearable or something, when I lose a bit more weight. So, let me tell you about it. They don't always put a great deal. These are 200 gram balls and 96% acrylic, 4% polyamide. They are 200 grams... Um, you can warm machine wash it and cool rinse short spin do not wring cool iron under dry cloth do not bleach cool tumble dryer so to be honest it's quite durable and I like this yarn a lot I really they had a, a kind of a, a bluey a grey blue as well um, before this time they didn't but then they didn't they only had a couple of these so I made sure that I got them to add to my others. So you can see the grey a little bit nicer on this one. It's that kind of marble type yarn. Be careful where I put this because I have a cup of tea over there. Now, um, I didn't find masses because of the yarn that they had, I already have some of. And this one, um, I made my chunky mile a minute with this and it is absolutely beautiful it works up so so well um i'm not sure let me put that down a moment. can i open this and close it again yes i thought it was one of those resealables which is excellent and i like the fact that it's in plastic i wish they'd do that with them all now it kind of is a little more well that's better that's a more true representation if i put it too close then it does kind of bleach out quite a bit. But it it is really nice. I absolutely... I'm looking for my neck lights on my knee. Not around my neck, because it's um, it will fall off with my hair being tied back. Um, okay, losing my neck light. Okay, this is called... Um, where are we? Chunky. Not very imaginative. Chunky color blend that's all i like the yarn band though i like the, the buttons on it i think it's quite cute cute but um doesn't have an awful lot of info again 40 degree machine wash and same instructions um as the other one 100 grams do we have any meters at all they don't always depends on how old the yarn balls are they are starting to, as you can see with that one, they are starting to put it on there. Maybe people 
complained on mass or something. This one doesn't have it, but it is kind of a very thick, chunky, this one. Thicker than the last one. Um, uh, you can just about see the strands are, oh, I'd say, more of a super chunky. They are very fat, but they are um, lovely and soft. Beautiful soft yarn. So I'm losing my ring, twisting round. It's a, um, I was I was a bit hot and then I was a bit cold, so the finger shrunk. But yeah, it's a really nice. Uh, you see the navy blue in there as well as all those pinks and a little bit of sort of a tan colour. It, it really did go well with the other one that I bought and made my chunky mile a minute with this one, because this one is black. Again, you can see it's quite a fat strand. It's the same um, one, though. When I say the same one, I mean it's just called Chunky. That's it. Just Chunky. Now, I don't have my bill. I lost it, and I can't remember how much these are now. My last lot that I bought were one ninety nine, but I don't know about these. I can't remember, and I'll just say I lost the, lost the ticket. But again, it doesn't tell you a great deal sadly um on there but it is really super soft and lovely so the other ones were all of these kind of 50 gram balls that am i gonna yeah I'm just, <laughs> not doing very well here am i whoever said i was professional so yeah these are um the unfair tootsie and i do swear by this yarn i think it is beautiful i would say this yarn is nicer than poundland for softness um as you know i really love the colorful um bright pinks one of poundland that is my favorite kind of high street cheapy shop yarn but all of these i do sell these in my shop hobby rocks and i do them in yarn bundles i'm not sure if i've got any of the other in there at the moment i did buy some of these to put in but whether i've actually done that or not i don't know but these are the yarn fair toots so you get this beautiful blue and in the baby shades you've got a lovely lovely mint green i will tell you all about them in a second a really gorgeous pale pink but the yellow is gorgeous absolutely the mo one of the nicest lemons that I've come across. So when you're doing anything for, for a baby, you get some really beautiful colours in the Yarn Fair Tootsie. And like I say, I do do them in bundles. So um, you can have a little look for those. Um, in, in they'll be in the Yarn Bundle section of my website, hobbyrocks.co.uk. They are very good value. So this is the pale yellow one. Um, machine washable and all that jazz again. 50 grams, 100% acrylic, but that's all it says. But I do have some darker colours as well. So I have this really lovely kind of denim blue and a lovely red. It's darker than it looks. When you hold it too far, it is this colour, this kind of deep kind of red. It's not, not that bright red that you see when you hold it too close. And... Then there's this real shocking fuchsia pink, which is one of my favourites. I love that colour. And a brown. So I got a little bit of all of those colours, but not many, because as I say, I still have quite a lot of it in my stash. But it is nice to have some block colours sometimes, some solids, um, to go with all the variegated yarn that is around. But that's all I bought, but it's not all they had. Now... I'll leave those big ones there because they're not going to fit in the bag. That's what I've got to show you. But now, some time ago, when I first started my shop, hobbyrocks.co.uk, I did used to sell something called Magic Aran. And I did actually have some of it and made some cushion covers. And there was a tutorial showing that on my channel. And the Magic Aran, it's a lovely yarn and it's sort of a fair isle yarn it's got some gorgeous colors in and there's some mauvey ones i do have some more somewhere and i had one that was all kind of pastel shades they were lovely and they still sell it they had a pretty horrible color of it though but they had put the price of that up 
to nearly nine pounds and I just thought absolutely not 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 in one of these shops if I was going to a yarn store where they sold brands of yarn then I might consider if I found a, a yarn that I really like I'd go to Hobbycraft and I'd buy Mandela they're about eight pounds but there is not a chance on this earth that I would go to Pound Stretcher and buy Magic Aaron for nearly nine pounds they have to be out of their tiny minds so um I didn't get any they also had some self-striping yarn and I've had some of that before in the past. It doesn't have DK on it. It doesn't have Aaron. Somewhere in between. And the colours are not great. When you when you work with it, you'll say when it transitions to from to a blue colour and you've been it's been orange, then all of a sudden there'll be a splodge of orange in that blue. So it kind of looks messy. Um again, way too overpriced. Um, I think that was around £6. There's not a chance of me paying £6 for that yarn. That's not good yarn. Um, they also had two packs of baby yarn. They were 100 gram balls in the two pack. That is quite budget yarn. And um, nowhere near as good quality as the Yarn Fair Tootsie. So I wouldn't get that either. Even though they are two balls and they are quite... Uh, decent value for money they're just not the colors are not vibrant and it's it's not the nicest of yarn but the um they had some big kind of tweed balls of yarn as well way too overpriced big aran balls they had there was one there and i thought how much and i was i'm not going to pay that for a ball of aran and I think it was about eight pounds. But then I looked, it was a 300 gram ball. But when Aldi and other people do their big 400 gram balls, 300 gram balls, they're not that expensive. And um, these are certainly on that kind of level. You know, they're not better yarn. Um, and to be honest with you, when I go to Aldi and they've put their prices up, I won't buy their yarn either because I just feel... What is the point in paying that kind of price when I don't pay that price for King Cole, for James C. Brett, for um, Starcraft? Some yarns, yes. I mean, the, the in the summer I bought the um, a really gorgeous cotton yarn from Starcraft, which is not, not cheap, cheap yarn, but it is absolutely beautiful. And it was a silky cotton. You can understand that. You can understand it is a premium yarn. These are not premium. These are not premium yarns. They just, I guess they think that because there's not so many shops in the high street now, not so many yarn shops, um, they can put their prices up to that kind of level. But having said that, there is now a yarn shop in that high street. And I hope that that young lady, I can't remember her name now. Um, I did a, a bit on her a little while ago. I hope she gets all the trade and they don't get it. Because, you know, she's selling proper brands for for less than they're selling their generic stuff. And I don't, I mean, like I said, I will sing the praises of Yarn Fair Tootsie because I think it is absolutely astonishing yarn for the price and really worth it. The stuff that I buy from there, if, I've, if I got it like this, is worth it. I mean, how can they justify paying £2.99 for this and £8, or nearly £9 for uh, the same amount of Magic Aaron. Uh, it's just not right. It's not right. Anyway, that's me on my soapbox. That's what I got. That's, um, I, I was, you know, at the time with the idea of buying some of the other stuff just to show you, but then I thought, I don't really want it. I don't want to be stuck with it either. So, there was absolutely no reason to buy it. But, um, yeah. All I can say is if you do have these shops on your high street, f do yourself a favour and head on to hobbyrocks.co.uk because I've got lots of special offers going on at the moment and uh, I will al always sell 
the softest, the best yarns. And I'm thinking of um, actually changing things up a little bit in my shop. And I'm going to have a Hobby Rock softness o meter And I'm going to put on every single listing how soft I say that yarn is. Um, just as a guide. Because, you know, we do like to have a little feel and a grope of yarn. But, you know, seriously, if if you haven't got proper yarn stores or you can't get to them for whatever reason maybe you've not got the transport and you shouldn't have to pay that kind of money for that kind of yarn you know what I mean not I'm not saying about the yarn that I bought because that is good value but um the stuff I refuse to pay for anyway thank you for watching um hopefully once the road's clear again and uh, we don't have all this uh, diversions in place, I can go further afield and look for another yarn shop to do another yarn quest. But thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.